the Chinese market. Mitchell Taylor's winery has been selling Australian wine since the 1960s. It retails for approximately $1,000 a bottle. And in the past five years, China has been his main focus. That's the back label there with all the Chinese details. But these bottles can now be three times as expensive because China has imposed new tariffs of up to 212% on Australian wine. Oh. Hello everyone, thanks for your back to my channel. I'm Marco Polo Chiao from Beijing in China. So uh, in this moment, uh, Beijing is the uh, the temperature is still cold, and uh, but the people is the getting more and more happy about uh, New Year's Chinese New Year will be coming soon. So in the Chinese New Year, we like uh, eating food, a lot of delicious food, and drink. Uh, uh, wine or beer, uh, whiskey or whatever Chinese people is uh, drinking people we like uh, drinking uh, a lot of uh, alcohol uh, not a lot of alcohol, we like use the drink to celebration uh, in the early old time, I mean in a long time ago uh, actually wine, the drink, alcohol is the, we giving a uh, sacrifice for the God so but, uh, but anyway um, is uh, this moment um, as before uh, we we cannot drink Australia wine anymore so uh, because it be very expensive so but uh, I always let's uh, talk about uh, the that's the situation about uh, Australia and China so I got a lot of guests also from Australia and uh, Australian people is really nice and uh, friendly of course um, they are the country is the so beautiful uh, and also I thanks for Australian uh, people uh, my guests that travel to China so but the problem is the uh, people for for you and me I mean we are just a common people uh, we actually I I don't know Australians, but I, from my heart, I like Australian people very much because I really met with them. I, I really give them service, service for them. And also they are so interesting. Uh, China as well, they take a cruise to come to China or take airplane and then they go to many different cities. Those people is really, really nice. And uh, also I'm uh, thanks for somebody is been traveled to China to see what is real is China. Uh, but from a politician levels, I think the Chinese government didn't do first step to uh, to make a problem with uh, Australia. I think, uh, uh, but uh, finally, the main reason the break relationship is not there anymore is uh, because uh, American President Trump, former President Trump, that's making crazy ideas. Uh, and um, they want America first. They want uh, uh, America first, and everybody must be behind all him. So, if uh, which country is the economy, economy is getting better, they uh, or they are like China. Technology is uh, also raising, so they are a little bit uh, um, scary, or they lose the confidence. So that's why uh, they call the COVID nineteen is the China virus. So. We already think this is a very racist, but um, Australia uh, Minister Morrison, they follow the Trump. He is the puppy of uh, Trump. So the now uh, Trump is, uh, is the, uh, go away, you know. So um, I hope uh, the relationship is the getting better and maybe uh, that is a good opportunity to change uh, change uh, change better uh, real, real relationship so that's what I want to share with the people uh, Australia wine is good no poison very nice uh, Australia meat is delicious uh, 
Australia mining uh, uh, quality is uh, really nice. Uh, those all we product, we all love. But uh, if uh, Australia politician people still follow some uh, American crazy um, politician people, think China is an enemy, and then I still don't think that will be uh, relationship will be nothing change. And also, I still have a question. Um, more recent, are you is the minister for Australia, or you are the puppy for the United States? This is a good question. So I hope in the future, not so long, I still can drink cheap of a uh, cheap Australia wine in China or got the grill from Australia uh, meat from the expensive hotel. So uh, good luck for each other. So uh, you know the, the President uh, Joe Biden is coming. Uh, I hope they change the they are the will about China, and uh, China is not an enemy for for United States. Of course, it also is not an enemy for the Australians. Uh, I love Australia, and uh, uh, you know the weather is so beautiful, and uh, the people also beautiful. But the politicians, they must be smart. Thank you.